to check out your tools for accuracy is an important thing. In this video I'll show you how to check the level for plumb. Turn around, you're going to need a door frame here that is vertical. Find a spot on it where it is actually perfectly vertical. So I've adjusted this one and you can see that the bubble is exactly in the middle. What you do then is flip the instrument around this way. You cannot check if the vial is perpendicular to only one side. You can only check it if these two faces on the tool are exactly parallel and this one has to be exactly perpendicular. You, can, you cannot check out just one face with, uh, with one vial. You have to flip it around this way and then you can conclude it if the bubble gets back to exactly the same position that these two edges are parallel and the vial is mounted perpendicular on it. To check the other vial, the upper one on it, you're going to have to flip the level upside down and repeat the procedure in the same position. So this level, that, we, that window in this level checks out. I have to check that one and two more vials on the other end of the tool. There's one of them and uh, you flip it around it should be getting back to exactly the same position. And that one is, as you can see, is different. The edge of the bubble is touching the black line there in this position. If I flip it around it's also touching the black line in this position but it's different from that bubble. Now, what uh, the reason for the difference is because I, sli I uh, slid the level vertically up and down. So when you check out your vials, I can't lower the camera four feet. Okay, so that's why I raised the lever and lowered the level. But it has to be exactly in the same spot, and then you flip it only this way. Don't be moving it this way because it's not going to be accurate. It's not going to be perfect. So that's how to check out your level for plum.